Hey, this is Chris from Make Use Of, and today I'll be troubleshooting a dead or unresponsive USB port. The USB port is, typically speaking, the most reliable port on a PC. That's why it's also the most used, connecting everything from mouses to memory sticks. There are times, however, when a USB port may become unresponsive. Here are a few tips to fix that. First things first, check your USB port for physical damage. Insert your USB device into its port and wiggle the connector up and down. See if it's loose. A loose USB port may require resoldering. While this may be rare, as components rarely detach from the motherboard without serious physical damage, do this to rule the option out immediately. Before we continue, restart your PC by turning it off and on. At times, Forcing a restart of your operating system will also scan for hardware changes. This may lead to your PC recognizing an otherwise ignored USB port or device. If that doesn't fix your USB port, continue on. Next, we're going to check your device manager to ensure your hardware is in working order. Open your device manager by clicking on the start menu, typing in devmanagement.msc, that's d-e-v-m-g-n-t dot msc and hit enter. Your device manager window will look like this. Within your device manager, you can see all the categories of devices installed onto your PC. Look for the universal serial bus controller entries. Click on the arrowhead to the left of the selection to expand it. You'll see something like the following. These are the USB devices present on your PC. See the one labeled Intel? That's a specific controller type. Click on the Scan for Hardware Changes button located at the top of your Device Manager window. You can also access this option by clicking Action and then Scan for Hardware Changes. This will rescan all the hardware on your system, possibly recognizing your USB port. If your USB port is recognized, you should see a new USB controller entry in your Universal Serial Bus controller sections. If your device still isn't recognized, there may be something wrong with your host controllers. Proceed to uninstall them by right-clicking the controller entry and selecting Uninstall. Repeat the process for any remaining host controllers. This will force the computer to pull these controllers and, hopefully, pick the one that isn't responding. If this still doesn't work, you may have two conflicting drivers one old and one new, affecting the USB port. To check if this is the case, head to the article titled How to Easily Remove Old Drivers from Windows below. Next, we'll deal with the Selective Suspend feature. The USB Selective Suspend feature is a power saving setting in Windows which suspends power to USB devices. It does so in order to preserve battery life. This key aspect may malfunction and fail to recognize USB devices. To deactivate this feature, head to your registry editor by clicking Start, typing regedit, that's R-E-G-E-D-I-T, in your menu, and clicking Enter. Navigate to the Disable Selective Suspend key by following the path H key underscore local underscore machine slash system slash current control set slash services slash USB. Right-click the Disable Selective Suspend option and select Modify. In the Value Data field, enter 1 and click OK. Restart your PC to apply the settings securely. If the USB key doesn't exist in your registry, it's easy to create one. Just navigate to the Services key, and in the toolbar click on Edit, New, Key. Call it USB. In the USB key, right-click on the right-hand window you'll only have the new option. Click on that and select DWORD 32-bit value. It may just be called DWORD value on your system. Name the new value Disable Selective Suspend. Just like above, right-click and select Modify. In the Value Data field, enter 1 and click OK. There, you have disabled the Selective Suspend feature. To apply these settings, Restart your PC. If none of these tips have helped, that probably means your USB port is having hardware issues. This typically means the USB component has somehow detached from the motherboard and may require resoldering to function again. If that's the case, 
I recommend heading to the article version of this video located below, which hosts an informative video on how to repair a USB port on your motherboard. If that's not a viable option, you can always purchase a USB hub, which converts an already functioning USB port into multiple others. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment below so we can assist you. To read this guide in article form, or check out our other how-tos, hardware reviews, and giveaways, head on over to makeuseof.com. Thanks for watching.